Green tea is to the body as music is to the soul. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's episode of 7 Good Minutes, we have our Wellness Wednesday segment, where we learn about the amazing health benefits of green tea from our friend, Dr. Mike. Enjoy. Tea is one of those rare beverages that's pretty much universally accepted by science as a healthy one. But just remember, as with everything in life, you can have too much of a good thing. So don't overdo it with the green tea. The number one thing that makes green tea so good for you is that it's loaded with healthy nutrients. All of these bioactive polyphenols are awesome for your health. You may have heard of some of them known as flavonoids or catechins. And what those are are just antioxidants. What antioxidants do is prevent free radical damage to your body. And free radical damage to your body over time causes cancer. But let me break that down a bit. I know all of you have faucets at home, whether it's in your bathroom or in your kitchen, some of those faucets have rust on them. The rust is a direct result of that free radical damage we always talk about. Now, antioxidants prevent that rust from forming. So think of antioxidants as the rust prevention within our own bodies. Yes! That's awesome! Within media, it's been mentioned before that those who drink green tea have lower rates of cancer. And it's been theorized that it has something to do with the huge amount of antioxidants found within green tea. We have to not get too excited by this fact because this is only a correlation and not a causation. Yes, it's good to drink green tea, but no, it's not going to cure and prevent all types of cancer. Second great point about green tea. If you got stinky breath, maybe you should try some green tea. But that's none of my business. The nutrients within green tea that we just mentioned on this last point, known as catechins, do a great job of inhibiting and killing certain types of bacteria. In fact, studies were done and proved that bacteria known to cause bad breath within your mouth was killed by drinking green tea. Also, when you have less of that specific bacteria, you have less plaque. So green tea also decreases the risk of developing a cavity. Point tray about green tea. It does a great job of giving you stable energy without all the jitters. It has about 30 to 50 milligrams of caffeine, which is roughly half a cup of coffee. You're still focused, you're still stimulated, but you don't have that jittery feeling that you get with a big cup of coffee. Another nutrient within green tea that works together with caffeine to boost your brain function is called L-theanine. Its benefit is that it gives your brain relaxation without the added sedation or drowsiness that come along with other relaxing agents. While we've seen in animal and lab models that it increases your good cholesterol and lowers your bad cholesterol, what we found in animal, lab, and human trials is that green tea lowers your blood pressure. Point number five, green tea can help you burn fat. Well, maybe. This is more of an individual case-by-case basis thing because not all studies agree on this. But there is a promise of increased metabolism and fat oxidation, essentially fat burning. Some of the lab models have shown a decrease in new blood vessel formation within your fat stores, meaning that it literally takes away the vital nutrition for your fat and makes it die, kicking that fat's butt. Point number six. Animal and lab models both show that catechins, the nutrient we keep mentioning over and over again, decrease the risk of you developing Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. Science isn't clear on why this occurs, but it's theorized that it has something to do with the decrease in the development of plaque within the brain. If that doesn't encourage you to take a sip, I don't know what will. Point seven. Now this is the game changer. This is the one that everyone gets excited about. Green tea may increase your lifespan. There's been a ton of research done on this. Some studies even have 40,000 participants that show those who drink three to five cups of tea a day have an increased lifespan, have a decreased all-cause mortality, that means dying from anything, have decreases in heart disease, decreases in strokes. But before we get too excited, we need to remember correlation versus causation. 
Just because those who drink green tea live longer, it doesn't mean green tea is the sole thing that's responsible for that effect. So yes, enjoy your green tea, but don't think you're gonna live forever. Here's how you create the healthiest cup of tea possible. Don't add green tea directly to boiling water as it destroys those healthy catechins we've been talking about. Don't go decaf because the decaffeination process hurts more of the nutrients found within green tea. Add lemon into your tea as it aids in the absorption of some of these nutrients. Finally, don't cheap out. Go for the good premium stuff as it contains more of the healthy nutrients we've been talking about all along. I need you to know this. Don't buy into the BS supplements that take green tea extract and claim that it has miracle health benefits. They do not. The real thing is always healthier than the supplement form. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.